Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In part two of this mega Ruby tutorial, we'll start talking about hashes. So I'm going to create a file over here, and I made the font really large for you so you can see it. Uh, create a new file. We're going to call this is a Ruby file. We're going to call this one zero. So zero twelve a underscore hashes. Remember, if you're not using an IDE that adds the .rb extension, you want the .rb at the end. And let me just close out the side here now. All right, so we've got our file. And we're going to create a hash. And for a hash, you do want unique keys. Okay, so let's make a comment here. You want unique keys. Okay, and let's create a hash. We'll call it myself. And I'm going to say myself. And equals and then I'm going to use these curly braces like so and then I'm going to put the key value pairs so let's have a key of name and then to indicate the um, value that goes along with the key name we're going to do this fat arrow so you do equal sign and then the greater than sign uh, right together like that and then we want to put the value so the value of my name is Timothy Unkert right after this first key value pair, to have another one, we want to have a comma, okay? And then let's put another key value pair. So I'm going to do another one. We'll call the key age. Do my fat arrow, and we'll set it equal to 46. And because I'm using this value as an integer, I don't have to put it in quotes. And I'll put a comma after that one. And then I'll do one more key value pair. And I'll call this one, this key website, and we'll do our fat arrow, and we'll do the website value in quotes as a string is https colon forward slash forward slash unkertmedia.com. You should check out that site, unkertmedia.com. It's pretty cool. Uh, after our last key value pair in the hash, we don't have to put a comma here, so I don't need a comma here. So I'm not going to put one, all right? So I'm going to go down here, and now I'm going to use puts to just print out the hash. So let's do puts and then myself, okay? And let's run this and see what we get, okay? And let me move this up a little bit so you can see it. So we've got, it just prints out the hash, which is like a dictionary in Python, if you're familiar with that. Okay, so we've got each of the key value pairs listed. Okay, cool. We can also print out just one key. So I could do puts myself and then within square brackets do uh, the key age. And let's see what we get when we do that. So let's run this. So if we run this, we just get the value of the key age. So the value is an integer, uh, it's 46, okay? All right, um, you can also loop through the key value pairs. And this is kind of like, if you're familiar with Python, you can do something similar. So this is uh, more of a Python type loop in Ruby. And I'm just going to make a comment of that, and then let's let's do it. So we're going to say something like 4kv, you could call it key value, in myself, but a lot of times you'll see kv, especially in Python, do, and then we're going to uh, print something. So we'll puts the key, so puts k plus, then we'll concatenate on a colon here in a space, and then we'll do another plus and we'll concatenate the value and we'll make sure it's a string because I do have an integer. So I'm going to go 2s. OK. Um, so let's try this. OK. And let's run it. And you'll see here we get it printed out. We get uh, name, Timothy Unkert, age 46, and my website, unkertmedia.com. Cool. All right. Um, we can also create a hash in a little bit different of a way. So let me show you that. 
and scroll up and so I'll have myself underscore hash equals uh, and then for each of the key for each of the keys here we're not going to put them in quotes we're going to do a colon and then the key name so colon name and then uh, the fat arrow and then I'll do Timothy Unker because that's the value and put a comment after that then colon oops colon age or fat arrow put the value of 46 and then colon website the fat arrow and put the value of https uh, forward slash forward slash unkertmedia.com if you just type unkertmedia.com it goes to that website check it out please <laughs> uh, shameless plug all right so now what we could do is we could access the uh, key let's say i wanted to access the value of the key website and print it out i could do puts myself underscore hash then square brackets and then colon website okay and now let's run this and we see we get uh, the value of, of the key website so unkertmedia.com okay all right um we can also do a hash that has numbers for the keys okay so let's try that so um let's call this uh key num or key underscore num underscore hash not great with the naming but Anyways, and then we'll do a curly braces and we'll just do a number for the key. So I'll do one, our fat arrow, and then a value of wow. And then two, our fat arrow and a value of cool. And then three, and our fat arrow and a value of, well, it's just okay. Uh, and now we can print out the value of a key by using the number. So let's do that. So we'll do puts and we'll do key num hash. Then within square brackets, let's do one. So we're going to print out wow. And let's run it. And we get wow right down here. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, all right. I also want to do another file because this one's getting a little bit long and we'll talk a little bit about hashes in that file. All right. So I'm going to open up the side here. Go up here. We'll create a new file. It's going to be a Ruby file. We'll call this 012B underscore hashes dot RB. Okay. My IDE is going to add it for me, and then we'll get rid of the sidebar here. And we can also create a hash. Let's say I wanted to create a hash uh, in the and store it in the variable my underscore hash. I can use hash in uppercase and do dot new. Okay. And now if I print this out, let's do puts my hash. Let's see what we get. Okay. So we just get these two empty curly braces. So we have an empty hash. Okay. So that's one way we can do it. Uh, we can also create, let's create another hash. Let's call it my second hash. And we'll do hash dot new and a space and do Tim. Okay. And let's now print out the value at zero and here's another way we can print it out we'll do puts and in quotes we'll do a hashtag and then these curly braces to pass in a variable we'll do my second uh should be hash let me rename this i mean i could name it has but just because we're talking about hashes i'm going to name it hash all right and then uh at index zero or at key zero the default value and we get Tim, okay? So that's basically, I'm saying what's the default value here, okay? Because we don't uh, necessarily have, it's not like um, 
where you have an array, for instance. Uh, okay, so let's now talk about my second hash. And let's let's keep going, but we'll put we'll put my second hash. We'll just print it out and see what we get here. Okay, so uh, we print that out. We get an empty hash, right? So this zero gives me the default value, but it's not like again, it's not like an array, an index zero. Uh, it's just the default value it's giving me. The hash is actually empty, but the default value would be Tim. Okay. Okay, um, now we can actually create key value pairs by doing something like this. So I can do my second hash, and let's say I want to create a key called greeting. And I can do that in square brackets, and I can just say equals hi. Okay, by the same notion, I can do my second hash, and let's say I want to create a key called name. I can set it equal to Tim. Okay. Remember when we printed this out here, it was an empty hash. Now let's print it out. Let's do puts my second hash here and let's run that and see what we get. Okay. So now we've got these two key value pairs. So we've got greeting equals hi name is Tim. All right. Pretty cool. So we can create key value pairs that way. Now we can also clear out the hash. We could do my second hash dot clear and then we could print out do puts my second hash okay so if we run this let's see what we get and now we've got an empty hash again okay and so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to comment this out because i don't really want to clear out the hash but i do want to show you uh, a better way to iterate through a hash. So let's make a comment here that this is a better iteration. Uh, and uh, then what I showed you in the previous file, and I'm going to say my second hash dot each. Okay. And then within curly braces, and then within pipes here. So we'll do uh, key of value, right? And then we'll do puts. Then let's do some quotes here. I'm going to do a hashtag to pass in the variable key. And then a colon. And then a hashtag and pass in the variable value. Like so. Okay, so now let's run this. Okay. And so I'm going to run this. And now we get... Um, each one on a separate line, we get greeting, colon, hi, name, colon, Tim. Okay, and that's what this iteration does. I hope you enjoyed this video, video on hashes in Ruby. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.